Hallelujah. Do you remember where our promise of the month is? Unusual mercy. Let's go quickly. Unusual mercy. It's said to Moses, that's in Romans. Romans chapter 9, verse 15 to 16, right? So let's go there. Are we there? Romans 9. And it says to Moses, I will have mercy on whomever I will have mercy. And I will have compassion on whoever I want. I will have compassion. Let's go to verse 16. For then it is not of him who wills, nor of him who runs, but of God who shows mercy. I hear healing in my spirit today. And I want you to key into it. Hallelujah. 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 I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. Let's go to Matthew. Matthew chapter 14, verse 14. While you're in Matthew 14, 14, you should also be in Matthew 15, 32. Amen. And when Jesus went out, he saw what? A great multitude. And he was moved with compassion for them and healed their what? Do you hear that? So it is not in God's intention to keep you sick. He is that merciful. So even when we experience healing, it is one of his personality that what he heals is very compassionate, is merciful. Let's go, Matthew 15 32. So now Jesus called his disciples to himself and said, I have compassion on the multitude because they have now continued with me three days and have nothing to eat and I do not want to send them away hungry lest they faint on the way. You can't be serving God. You can't be calling on God. You can't, you, you, you can't put so much to God's work and God will forget you. If just with three days people were with Jesus and he had compassion and not to send them away hungry, do you think you'll be serving God and he will leave you stranded? No. He will not. So he's very, very compassionate and he remembers that. Hallelujah. Good. Let's go to Psalm 86 verse 15. Then Hebrews 11:6. Psalm 86, verse 16. Are we there? Uh, verse 15. But you, O Lord, are a God full of what? Compassion and gracious, long-suffering and abundant in mercy and truth. Talking about our God again. Hebrews eleven six. Let's go quickly. But without faith, it is impossible what, to please God. For he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is what is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Then again, he will always keep to it. Exodus 34, verse 6. Exodus 34, verse 6. And the Lord God passed before him and proclaimed the Lord, the Lord God, merciful and gracious. I need that. Okay, thank you. Long-suffering and abounding in what? In goodness and truth. Let's go. Keeping mercy for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin. By no means clearing the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children and the children's children to the third and the fourth generation. But this is no longer happening, the last one, because everyone bears because now we have Christ. Do you understand? But God is still what? Merciful. Amen. Then I want us to go 
I'm saying all this so that we know level by level by the time we want to start praying. There is a posture into it. And I know by, by the Spirit of God today that anything you ask for in His name, He will do it. He will do it. I'm not sure you believe that enough. I said He will do it in the mighty name of Jesus. James chapter 5 verse 11. James chapter 5 verse 11. Indeed, we count them blessed who endure, who have heard of the perseverance of Job and seen the end intended by the Lord, that the Lord is very compassionate and what? And merciful. Let's go to verse 14. But above all, my brethren, do not swear either by 14, please. Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with what? With oil in the name of the Lord. Let's go. And the prayer of faith will save the sick and the Lord will raise him up. And, he, and if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. Next. Confess your trespasses to one another and pray for one another that you may what? That you may what? Be healed. The effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. Sometimes, what we think is just negligible. It's very important to God. So while you are praying and Holy Spirit drops that in your mind, pay attention to it and to the need for all right beautiful then i want us because i'm going to join that with the promise of the week then we can go through promise of the week is in uh, mark chapter 11 verse 23 but i want us to read from verse 22 the book of mark So Jesus answered and said to them, Have what? Faith in God is about the story of the fig tree. Let's go. For as shortly I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, and does what? Not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. Say today, I will have whatever I say. Today, I will have whatever I say. Let's continue. 24. Therefore I say to you, 23 is the main promise of the week, but let's go. Therefore I say to you, whatsoever things, whatever things you ask, when you pray, believe that you receive them, and what? You will have them. 25. And whenever you stand praying, if you have anything against anyone, forgive him that your father in heaven may also forgive your trespasses because that is what will make you rightly positioned that whatever you ask, you will receive. 26. But if you do not forgive, neither will your father in heaven forgive your sins and neither will the prayers. So it is not enough to just say, I have faith. You must be sure that you are in right standing with the Father. We are going to pray for our friends. Um, would you like to share a piece of I dash you my phone. It's Wondering why 
why you want to collect it back after the day you left me and you have given me. So you'll be wondering why I want to collect it back. But the thing is, we did not do change of ownership. We did not like that. But there is a question of wondering why what I want to collect it back. Sometimes the only reason why I will give her is when I come back and I met it probably better. When it is better, I won't be able to collect it from her. Do you know? I will not. I will say, oh, you even kept it better. You have done a great job doing this. Then I might even give you much more. For anything you own, God has given you. Amen? God has what? Given you. But when you do not change the status quo, then it even went bad. I might not even collect it again because ah, this is not what I gave you. You have just even go home. I will not. But that will not pave way for me to give her something else. Forgiveness is exactly that way. If I have forgiven you, in case you offended, if somebody else should forgive, offend you, you should, out of the fact that you have experienced forgiveness, be able to forgive others. Albeit, when we want to take in what forgiveness is, the meaning of it with our human understanding, it might be very hard. But forgiveness is a God is God's concept to make us rightly positioned that we have access to everything that God has actually predestined us to have. You can have your seat. Thank you. It said, okay, there will be healing in the house today. He said, but tell the people to check their heart. He said, when you pray and you believe that whatever you ask, you will receive. He said, you must you do what? You will have it. So, so that even in your prayer point, are you rightly positioned to receive what you have asked for? For example, I'm praying for a job. Do you think I'm rightly positioned? Lord, have passion. I can speak. In fact, you know all those midnight prayers. Breaking every hand, holding my application. Every hand, holding my full job, my million job, my this, that, this, this, this. Break, 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 break. I even go to the upper room and I even had change of tongues. But I fail to do what will make me rightly positioned for the prayers to be answered it shows that I do not have faith because faith is action oriented the action I must take that God has given me after I believe I have it you know after you pray say, Father we thank you for answered prayers right thank you for answered prayers oh God yeah I felt better relief better release and, 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 and then I do not write application I do not seek for the job. I do not tell people I need a job. I do not tell people I need this. How will that come? That means I only pray, but I do not have faith that I will have that job. Because if I have faith, I will write that application. So when you are praying for healing, you get up. I've heard of meetings. Someone was already healed, but because he was still on the bed, he did not make effort. He didn't know he was healed. He didn't know that he was already healed. Get up. Peter and John at the beautiful gate. They said, look on us. Silver and gold we have not. But today, what I have, I have the name of Jesus. And I am declaring that that sickness, I overturn it. And that you are healed in the name of Jesus. But he did something. He said he held your hand. And he put him up. He kabali. If someone is lame, you must begin to walk in that understanding and then you get up. Try it. I am healed and you realize that you're working. 2009, September 11, I had an accident that kept me at Igobi for over a month. And at some point, I was tired. I was, there was just that anger in me like, I should not be kept here. 
was there on the bed and I was running fellowship. I was like, okay, guy, we are doing this program, we are doing that, I was designing the shirt, I was there, all those things there. But I was angry, at some point I was angry. When my consultant said, I said, oh, you still have to say another twist. I said, ah, ah. And Holy Spirit said, I intentionally extend the strike because it was a strike for one month. If you try to do extra here, you are doing extra here because I was in second semester final year and once we resumed, it was going to be exam. And I said, no. I have enough grace. I have taken that up and so I started praying in my spirit. And the doctor came. He said, oh, let them remove the traction from my leg. Then that, But don't stand up from your bed. Do you hear me? Don't stand up. I said, Sir, don't stand up. It's all right. After he left midnight, everyone will be asleep. I will get up from my bed. You cannot be praying and not be positioned for your healing. Are you listening to me? I would get up from my bed. The first time when blood rushed, I said, yeah. You know, I felt for you. Know, I said, hey, doctor said, don't stand up. Bro. In my mind, I didn't say it. But then again, I said, if I do not, how will this leg get back to life? It needs blood to get back to life. I felt the flow. I would do that every night. At some point, I started hopping on one leg. Then one of the I call them most meat. <laughs> that was also receiving. You know, she just woke up and said, Ah, Funke Kodi Yini. She was almost calling dinner. I said, ah. You know, I sat on my bed. Get, Lord, let this girl sleep. <laughs> so one morning I woke up. I said, Everybody in this place, are you guys not tired of living here? They said, They are tired too. Some have been there six months. Some have been there. So, yeah. Pray. I prayed. We prayed. I said this week, everybody they were even looking at uh, this one that they are just they just changed the flesh from cheek to the leg. Are you sure? I said one week. That the healing. I remember how Holy Spirit put it to me. Said the healing that is beyond the understanding of science. That God will give it. That week, the whole world that I was in was emptied. And when they were planning my discharge, they said, have, you, have you taken your crutches? Have you bought your crutches? I said, have crutch? No, I cannot do this. Ah, your doctor has not even come. You are saying, I said, I, I, Ondu Funke, Ondu Atimne, I was Ondu Atimne. I will not leave this place with crutches or anything to work with. The nurses were doing. And my cousin came, he was the last to come. I said, ah, shame me that I prayed. I would not be partaker of this. And then he came and said, oh, okay. Come stand up. Walk, walk. To and fro. I have been doing that if I was not doing it, guys. Even though I had been healed. Do you understand? So your healing must first happen in your mind. And then you must begin to walk in line with it. She said, walk. And I was like, ah. It was then I realized that if you do not use your feet for a long time, just in less than a month, it was something, it was as if I had never walked before in my life. I just went, she, she said, go, come, go, come. I was not holding anything. She said, discharge her, she's free to go. I said, ah, ah, hey, God, oh, sir. The God that I serve. I serve a living God, oh, even the devil knows. Say, nah, true, oh. But when you don't know, he said, my people perish for lack of knowledge. Do you understand? So when some people do healing school, that's what they are trying to build your place. And letting you see that God has already healed you. You must key into it. And when they are saying, say, no, he does not have it. No, she does not have it. No, she is healed. Keep watering it with thanksgiving. You already know I have given you this nurse. And you are going to pray. Because God is plenteous in mercy. Uncommon mercy. Terminal diseases. They said he healed all of these things. Jesus is so compassionate. And his compassion, they fail not. Do you know that song? While we are singing that song, I want you to be praying. Start praying. Start praying. Nothing is wrong with me. I am perfect. I am healthy. In the mighty name of Jesus. Don't forget. In case you have bitterness, you have ought against anyone, begin to release them in, their, in your heart because they, they should not be enough to hold your healing. They should not 
be enough to hold your breakthrough. Yes. There should not be. The reason to hold your breakthrough. The reason to hold your testimony. No way. In your heart. And over past that I left regret those. Please be on your feet. And Lizo Taba Jataya Gadosa. Like blind Batmios said he was passing. <laughs> he was passing. Jesus was passing. He said, who is passing? You've heard of healing. You have heard and you are wondering, God, what is happening to me? Why me? But today is that day that Jesus is here and he's saying, I'm healing with compassion. He said he looked at the people. He looked at them and he had compassion. And he healed all of them. I mean all. And love repel the heart of satire. The wind of healing is blowing right now to everyone on everyone that you represent. Everyone that you represent. Everyone that you represent. Everyone that you represent. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your mercy fails not. Merciful God. Merciful God. And don't forget when He heals, when He's done, give the glory to Him. Because that is the agenda. <laughs> that is the agenda. I remember when I was about to leave the hospital. I went to other ward. I was visiting them and I was telling them about Jesus. Hey, Kazota Yagada, I have to tell them about Jesus. Because whatever it is, it is to glorify himself. I want you to have hope. No, there is hope. There is hope. Whatever that person or whatever it is you are going through right now, there is healing. And it is for his glory. He is too compassionate. He is merciful. And I know he's here today. To those online, go ahead. Maratoma Shapa Yagada Regedos. Inkoba Yagados. Your mercy said no. Your mercy said no. Marato maraba legedo sete ye bo shata yagada da da da. Inzote marika bo shata ma shata yagada. Many people are battling secretly. Marata ya bo sete ma shapa ya. He knows and he sees your heart. He knows. He said, "Let the elders of the church pray for him." And he has confessed, and he will be healed. And to maraba he will be healed. Can you hold one person right now? People are going through matter of death. They are going through matter between 50, 50, 20, 20, 20, that whatever the ratio. But Lord, with you it is life. With you it is life. With you it is life. And Zotaya begin to declare, decree over them. Whatever it is that has been causing that entrance to that healing. That has been causing entrance to that breakthrough. Today, my rebels today, like a dog, sat here, ba 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 ba. Look at blood, my said, Jesus, said Jesus of Nazareth, have mercy on me. Oluwa shea no for 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 me. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. And everything you want the Father to do, begin to ask. This person I'm holding, Reto Majata Yebrehen Delegerosa, what to bring the breakthrough, you don't know. But Lord, take over. Have mercy in the name of Jesus. Of this person I am holding, have mercy in the name of Jesus. Can you begin to pray for yourself? You can leave the hand now. Begin to pray for yourself. Remember anything you ask the Father. In His name, He would do it. 
if you say to this mountain, it's a mountain, it looks so high, it looks like you cannot measure up, you can't even climb, you don't even know what to do. It is such a challenge that it's so hard to break through and make a door or even make a way. He said, What? Speak to this mountain, be thou removed and be cast into the sea. Mountains are difficulties. Mountains are long-standing difficulties. Mountains are long-standing, maybe sickness in whatsoever capacity. Whatever it is that is a mountain to you. Whatever it is that is a mountain to you. Maybe they are coming on me right now. It's even a mountain to you. Marato Majapa Yegedos. Help me to see the well. Even in famine. Help me to see the spring even in famine. Help me to see the brook even in famine. Help me to see the brook even in famine. Maybe you don't even know what you want to eat tonight. Ask him. Ask him. We are wrapping up in 30 seconds. Ask him. Even if it's that you are standing in the gap, go ahead. If God answers that a lot. Prayer of intercession. He where we read in Exodus, it's, it's Moses. Said these people that you've always had mercy on. Even till you till now. Have mercy in the name of Jesus. Your mercy, O oh God. Shall we keep seeking? We receive mercy. Just ask for God's mercy. Ask for his mercy, Lord. Even if you don't know what you want to ask, ask for his mercy. Ask for his mercy. Ask for his mercy. Ask for his mercy. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. The mercy of the Lord. The mercy of the Lord will overturn them. Will do all. Will answer. And you will come with your testimonies in the name of Jesus. You will come with your testimonies in the name of Jesus. I say you will come with your testimonies in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Have a wonderful week.